Hey, doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at is this 2020 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Cresco, New Jersey Police Department. <laughs> Taking a look up top, we have a sound off signal and force bar in tricolor. So we have uh, red, blue, and white in each modules to the front and also to the side. We have a Weston Elite push bumper with two sound off signal tricolor and forces. And then we have two sound off signal four inch M powers also in tricolor. They have the white override feature to allow additional front scene lighting if they were to need it. Uh, we also have a sound off signal plug and play headlight flasher for the Tahoe that's installed. It's currently wired to park. The one thing that's nice about this vehicle is it features sound off signals blueprint multiplex electrical control system along with the link system which allows us to read all the vehicle signals such as park, reverse, neutral, door signals, fuel sensors, anything that you can read off that OBD2 port we can make the system operate based off of that. So in this instance we have the headlight flasher on park kill we have the light bar in the park pattern. When it goes into drive, you have a, uh, a little bit more aggressive flash pattern than you would. It allows for uh, a little bit more scene safety and doesn't necessarily confuse drivers as much when the vehicle is parked on the side of the road. And then we've also mounted our sound off signal 100 end speakers to the push bumper for allow for easy service. So underneath the mirror, we have the sound off signal intersector in dual color. It has the white flashing when in drive and the white actually also functions as an alley light. And then we have the sound off signal M powers on the running boards that are in tri-color with the right override feature. One thing that we can do with the blueprint system, which is very simple, is we can do the corner module cutoff with the door open. So when the officer gets out of the vehicle, they're not necessarily blinded by that corner module. And we also shut off the uh, intersector light that's underneath the mirror. And as soon as you close the door, they start flashing again. The rear side window, we have a sound off signal, single deck grill light in the rear side window. In the rear window, we have sound off signal, dual deck grill lights. These are in dual color, red, blue. We have the parking lights tied into the blueprint system along with an LED reverse light bulb that are also tied into the blueprint system so that all the back warning lights are actually synchronized together. And then we have the four inch M power stud in tri-color with the white override feature that allow for additional scene lighting when in reverse or with the rear scene feature and with the rear hatch being open. What you can notice about the deck grill lights on the hatch is when the hatch opens they shut off so that they do not reflect down onto the command area or affect night vision. We have Technique 4 inch red white lights mounted to the hatch. These are on a double pull switch so that they can turn the red or the white lights off. We have our command cabinet with a ratcheting magnetic command board. And then we also have our weapon storage drawer. This is a full depth cabinet that allow for uh, all their weapons and any other items that they may want to lock up inside the vehicle. So what this customer elected for their prisoner containment system is we have Centina poly window bars, Centina plastic door overlays. We have a Centina single prisoner transport system with the plexi divider and then we also have the plexi rear cargo area. So for this vehicle the customer selected the Havis wide body console with the reintegration of the 12 volt the factory USB outlets. We've installed their Motorola radios so we've got the O2 head, the XPR, the blueprint controller that has arrow, takedown left alley, right alley, cruise feature, a dim and a rear cut feature and we've also installed their unit and scanner. We've angled their flashlight to allow the officer to easily get it out and reposition the flashlight when they're done using it. And then we have the Havis mount with the Havis docking station for their laptop. What we've done for their radio equipment is we've recessed the speakers into the headliner along with the dome light for the vehicle. What these speakers are is there's a specialized bracket behind it that allow that speaker to be serviced in the event it does blow. You don't need to disassemble the headliner, just simply remove the screws and take the speaker out, replace it, and the vehicle can go back into service. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.